Hey everyone, welcome back to the program. Now today I'm gonna to be counting down my top 10 artist discoveries of 2019. So what that means is every year I've been doing this show, I find out about artists I never heard about and that's the fun of it, right? It's a learning experience. And so what this is, is basically an extension of my top 10 favorite albums of 2019, but these are artists that were new to me in 2019 that released albums in 2019. A little convoluted, but I think you'll get the idea. And we're gonna start with number 10, Richard Houghton, Music for Drifters. And now I had the pleasure of interviewing Richard here in the vinyl pad. And while I haven't put that video together yet, I didn't wanna pass up on the opportunity to talk about his music. Now, besides Richard being an extremely talented record cutter, making some brilliant designs on vinyl, he's also a talented musician in his own right. With his latest release, he blends acoustic guitar with electronic sounds and sound Samples. The result is a gorgeous, mostly instrumental record that teems with musical intrigue. At number nine, I have No Wins Downey. Again, another artist I had the pleasure of interviewing on the program. Check out our talk if you haven't already. I play samples from every track off the record. Overall, I love the trip down 90s nostalgia that this album provided. At number eight, I have the self-titled release by Black Pumas. I believe someone in the chat of one of my live streams recommended this record. I put it on and I instantly fell in love. It's got that wonderful 60s soul with just a hint of modern sophistication. Overall, it's a feel-good record. Ah, you guys gotta check it out. At number seven, I have Signal by Automatic. They really nail that early 80s post-punk sound. They they have this overall lo-fi production, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like, it, it's kind of grainy in a sense, but it's got these engrossing synths that sort of smooth out the rough edges. Ah, oh, man, I, I really love this whole record. At number six, I have Wise Blood with Titanic Rising. Somehow I'm just now finding out about her, and I have to admit, on first pass, I, I wasn't exactly sold, but then I heard a single on the radio and uh, I completely ate my words. There's just something so very magical about this sound. Overall, the album has that sunny canyon sound of the 70s. It's rich and lovely with lush string arrangements, country slide guitars, and her soaring voice, which just seals the whole package for me. And number five of Michael Kiwanuka with his album Kiwanuka. Oh my goodness, this album is such a great combo of Neo Soul with psych rock guitars and wall of sound string and horn arrangements. I love the combination of all of that. And then on top of it, we have the instantly recognizable voice of Michael Kiwanuka that is understated yet very soulful, warm, inviting. There's an everyman quality about him that makes the music incredibly relatable. Uh, and, and there's just a little bit of roughness or grit in his voice. Ah, I just, I love the quality that, that he, it, it, everything that he does seems like it's effortless for him. And it really comes through in this, in this album. And I'm just so thankful to have discovered his music now because oh, I, I really needed that warmth in 2019. At number four, I have the Matson 2 with their album Paradise. When I first heard the dreamy guitars of this record, it instantly grabbed me, but it was the subtle jazz roots that kept me listening to the very and this album has an overall sunny vibe. It's, it's minimal on vocals, but it features some fantastic guitar solos. And the drummer, in my mind, really holds this whole thing together. Just mm, mm, wonderful production. Really enjoyed this album. At number three, I have Boy Harsher with the album Careful. Now this was a band that was recommended to me by my barber and he has great taste in music. I, I love how he's always turning me on to bands I wouldn't have otherwise heard of. And you know, sometimes I don't like everything he recommends, but oh, this one just hit home for me. They have this dark wave, sometimes goth sound. It, it predominantly features female vocals over some fantastic synths. This is a record that makes me feel cool, like I'm in an 80s club up to no good. I, 
<laughs> I, I, oh, I love this record. And number two, I have Equip with Curse Breaker X. This was another artist I got to interview in 2019. In that video, we talked a lot about his music and, and how he made this album. Go check that out if you haven't already. But suffice it to say, this album really tugged at my nostalgia heartstrings. I just, oh, I, I love the sound that he created. And to tie that in with his inspiration and our connection, I knew this record was gonna be high on my list. And so that brings me to my number one record. This is not a safe place by the band Ride. Oh man. What can I say? I've been missing out. If it wasn't for the Bandbox service, I may have never listened to these guys. This album is fantastic. It's such a great blend of shoegaze and Brit pop. Oh man, I, I just can't get enough of them. I'm going to go back through their entire catalog. This is, is one of my favorite bands now, and I'm so thankful to have them in my life. So that is my top 10 albums albums by artists I discovered in 2019. This was a fun list to put together and uh, I, I really enjoyed making it. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know which of these bands were your favorite. Maybe you discovered some of the same bands in 2019. But let me know with a comment down below. Until then, I am your Vinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey everyone, thanks again for checking out this list. If you wanna see my top 10, if you haven't already, check out my top 10 albums of 2019, as well as my top 10 pickups of 2019.